Hello tech gurus! Today, we're diving into a fundamental piece of PC maintenance, how to test and replace a CMOS battery. You might be wondering, what even is a CMOS battery? Well, that small, shiny coin on your motherboard is incredibly important. CMOS stands for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor, which is the type of memory that stores your computer's essential startup settings. This little battery provides constant power to the BIOS or UEFI firmware, even when your computer is completely unplugged. It's responsible for remembering critical information like the system date and time, your boot drive order, and other custom hardware configurations. So how do you know if your CMOS battery is the culprit? The most common symptom is your PC's clock falling behind or resetting to a specific date in the past, often the motherboard's manufacturing date, every time you power it off. Another major sign is that your BIOS settings refuse to stick. You might set up your boot order or enable an XMP profile for your RAM, only to find it all reverts to default the next time you boot. This can even prevent your computer from starting correctly. Finally, you might be greeted with explicit error messages during startup like CMOS checksum error or press F1 to run setup. Before we open up the case, let's talk preparation. You'll likely only need a standard Phillips head screwdriver. I also highly recommend an anti-static wrist strap. This is a crucial safety tool that prevents electrostatic discharge or ESD from your body from damaging sensitive electronic components. If you don't have one, you can minimize risk by working on a hard surface, not a carpet, and by frequently touching a bare metal part of the computer case to discharge any static buildup. Most importantly, power down your computer completely. Then, switch off the power supply unit at the back and unplug the main power cord from the wall outlet. To be extra safe, press and hold the PC's power button for about 10 seconds. This will discharge any residual electricity stored in the system's capacitors. All right, with our safety checks done, let's get inside. Place your PC tower on its side on a stable, well-lit surface and remove the side panel. Now, look at the motherboard for that small, round silver battery. It's almost always a CR2032 model. Its location can vary, so if you can't spot it, a quick look at your motherboard's manual online will show you its exact location. Once you've found it, you'll see a small metal retention clip. Gently press this clip away from the battery, and it should pop up. Avoid using a metal screwdriver to pry it out. With the old battery out, you can test it with a multimeter set to DC voltage. A new battery is about 3.2 volts. If yours reads below 2.8 volts, it's definitely the problem. Grab your new CR2032 battery, holding it by the edges to keep the contacts clean. To install it, make sure the positive side, the one with the CR2032 text, is facing up. Slide one edge of the battery into